Welcome to Todd Talk. Today I want to talk about the best thing I've ever eaten. Todd Talk is brought to you by Cannibal Diner. It's people. So I was thinking about food the other day, which I do pretty much every day. And I was thinking, you know, what is the best thing I've ever eaten? And honestly, it's a pretty difficult question to answer. I've eaten a lot of really great food, but as far as like ranking it, it's pretty difficult to decide, you know, is chocolate better than tacos? Is dessert better than breakfast? You know, it's really, really subjective. And so I got to thinking, you know, how would you judge the greatest thing that you've ever eaten? And I think it really comes down to how memorable the food is. I suspect many of us are pretty spoiled where we actually eat a lot of pretty great things that we just forget all the time. But sometimes, for one reason or another, a meal really kind of sticks with you. And you know, I find this often to be true when I'm traveling. Vegas has a lot of really great food, some really nice restaurants. And the last time I went to Vegas, I decided to try all the different burgers. And I ate several burgers, and I had pretty high hopes for some of them, but they just weren't all that special. But there was one that I do remember, and it was pretty awesome, and that was the burger at Guy Fieri's place. I mean, this thing had mac and cheese on it. And it was a fantastic and very memorable burger. You know, another meal I remember is when I went to Boston. I went up to the North End, and I was told I had to eat Italian food when I was in Boston. I went to a place called Giacomo's, and it's an old family-owned Italian restaurant, and it opened at 4 p.m., and right before 4 p.m., a line immediately began to form. So I quickly jumped in it, got inside, and it's not a very big place, and it's one of those places where you can tell pretty much everybody who's working there is related, kind of yelling at each other. It's kind of loud. They're cooking right in front of you. It was really great Italian food. Last year when I was in Denver, I went to a restaurant called Work and Class. Some of the most simple food that I've ever eaten, and it was just absolutely wonderful. It was sort of a choose-your-own-adventure, and so I had house-made tortillas and pork and candied beets. It was just so delicious. Also went to a restaurant called Linger, which was a really cool space, and they have all kinds of things on their menu from like all around the world. So you can kind of mix and match, and it was really, really great as well. You know, one place I think of when I think of food is New Orleans. And every time I've been in New Orleans, I have ate a lot of crawfish. I've eaten po'boys. I've just eaten boiled crawfish. There's one place I went called Dini's Seafood, and they had crawfish three different ways. There was gumbo, there was an etouffee. And I ate so much that I just, like, wanted to lay down. I was so full, and it was so good. And you know, Chicago, Chicago style pizza, I uh, have eaten it. It's fine. It's good. But I do prefer the New York pizza. You know, there's nothing wrong with Chicago style pizza. It's just, it's not really pizza. It's more like a pie. It's more like a lasagna adjacent sort of thing. New York pizza is thin and it's really part of the lifestyle. Like you get this big old slice and you fold it in half and you just go because everybody's going all the time and it just makes perfect sense. I ate at the oldest pizzeria in New York and it was delicious. Also ate a lot of 99 cent pizza and it was pretty good too. If ever you're in New York, just eat as much pizza as you can. Now, while I ate a bunch of pizza and I loved it, I don't remember any specific venue that really stood out. It was all just good and tasty. But there have been a couple of places that I've eaten that are really, really stand out. One of the first times I ever did like a chef's tasting menu sort of thing where it was a multi-course situation was at a restaurant called Spruce in San Francisco. Now, when I went to Spruce, it had just opened up from COVID times. So a lot of the dining was still outside and uh, things were kind of spaced out. It was a pretty upscale environment. I was sitting next to people who I could tell just sort of did this thing all the time, but um, obviously I don't spend that kind of money on food that often, but the guy who was waiting on me was really cool and explained everything really, really well, and the food was astounding. I had a really great duck thing, and there was some foie gras. There was the most amazing salad that I've ever eaten had cherry and burrata and 
beets. It was so good. You know, some food you remember because it's unusual. A couple years ago for my birthday, I went out and I had a soft shell crab sandwich with kimchi on it. Sort of looked and read like a fried chicken sandwich with coleslaw, but that's not at all what it tasted like. It was really, really yummy, but it was just a really interesting combination of stuff. Salt and straw ice cream has some really, really unusual flavors. Things like uh, balsamic vinegar and strawberry, or blue cheese, things like that. Very good. There's one time I stopped at a burger place on my way back from Yosemite in Sacramento, uh, this place I saw on Food Network, and they make a cheeseburger where they just pile cheese on the top of the burger while it's on the grill, and it ends up making this cheese skirt. That was really something. Another weird thing I had that was just really, really good at a restaurant in Chicago I had duck tongues. They're just little things like this, and it just comes in like a little cup with a whole bunch of them. And, um... They taste like spam, like they're just really salty and yummy, and uh, I could probably eat them all day. One of the very best things I ate was my birthday this last year. I went to a restaurant in Portland, Oregon called Le Pigeon. And the same thing is sort of the San Francisco situation. It was a multi-course dinner, and everything was just absolutely astounding. Each of the plates was really unusual, and combinations of things that I just had never encountered or run into before and it was all so so good they did a shrimp thing they did steak they did salmon and they did one of the best desserts that i've ever ever had and so if i had to pick i suppose that's the best thing i've ever eaten but there's a lot of really great food out there and a lot of it's pretty memorable you know nowadays when i travel i will research food what restaurants do i want to go to what do i want to eat in April, I'm going to Santa Fe, and I plan to eat a lot of Mexican food and a lot of chilies. So who knows? Maybe the best thing I've ever eaten, I haven't even eaten yet. <laughs>